Hi, welcome to Filled in Five, where we take five minutes to break down an aspect of the spiritual life. Today, I would like to talk about authenticity in your spiritual practice. Authenticity is about embracing who you truly are and honoring what resonates with you on your spiritual journey. It's about being real, raw, and unapologetically yourself. Spirituality isn't a one-size-fits-all journey. It's about finding what works for you what nourishes your soul, and what brings you closer to your truth. Yet, so often we find ourselves trapped in a cycle of comparison and expectation, following practices because we think we should, not because they genuinely resonate with us. I've been there myself. I've tried to force myself into molds that didn't fit, or only to find out, only to find myself feeling frustrated and wrestling with some guilt. Maybe you've had a similar experience. I remember really wanting to have a healthy prayer life. I took time each day to sit and pray. I took time to schedule out lists and who I and what I would pray for. No matter what I did, no matter my intention or commitment, every time I sat down to pray, my mind would wander and I would end up making grocery lists or falling asleep. I didn't feel like I was encountering God at all and it was so frustrating. I spent a lot of time and energy trying to force the issue. I was going to be a pastor to people after all. I needed to be able to pray and feel a genuine connection with God. Eventually, after so many difficult weeks, I stepped outside one evening and gazed up at the night sky. The mystery and wonder of the stars winking back at me took my breath away. And I felt a connection to the transcendent that I had been craving. I realized then that sitting down to pray as I had been taught to do didn't do the trick for me. Being out in the created world is what opens my spirit. Breathing the fresh air, touching the trees, squishing the earth between my toes feeds my soul. Over the years, whenever I have wrestled with needing direction, Going outside has brought me peace in the answers I seek. Once I allowed myself to step into my authenticity, to embrace the practices that truly spoke to me, everything changed. Friend, what works for others may not be the practice for you. When you find and embrace your authenticity, your spiritual practice becomes more than just a routine. It becomes a sacred dance between your heart and the universe. It's not about what others do or what you think you should do. It's about honoring your unique journey and allowing yourself to listen to and be guided by your inner compass, which always points toward your higher power. Once you find a practice that enlivens your spirit, it's time to lean into it. Being authentic in your spiritual practice means being brutally honest with yourself. It means asking the tough questions. Who are you? What do you truly believe? What do you seek to gain from your practice? It requires you to strip away the layers of societal expectations and peer pressure and to listen to the whispers of your soul. There are so many voices that vie for our attention and tell us who and how we should be. The goal of the spiritual life is to develop the ability to listen to the one voice, the transcendent voice of the creator and sustainer, to move through your life with intention, peace in your inner being, and love that overflows. That's the filled life. Spiritual direction can help you find the practices that feed your soul and lead you to growing a vibrant and life-giving spiritual life. Suppose you are intentional about caring for your body and keeping your mind sharp, but you neglect nurturing your spirit. In that case, you are only tending to two-thirds of your overall health. Discernment, forgiveness, values, worth, these are spiritual skills and needs that profoundly impact your overall well-being. Pursuing a healthy spiritual life bolsters your physical and mental health. 
I'm Melissa Ebkin, the pastor of the Iliopolis and Nyanic Christian Churches. I developed Filled to provide support for you in growing your spirituality that you may have an abundance of light, life, and love for yourself and others. Send me a message and start nurturing your spiritual life right now.